This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for July 24th. As we celebrate the feast of Saint Charbel Maclouf's Day. Saint Charbel was a monk and priest of the Maronite order who lived in Lebanon during the 1800s. Many healings and graces have been attributed to his intercession. Saint Charbel was born as Youssef Antoun Maclouf in 1828. He had four siblings, and his family lived high in the Lebanese mountains. His father died when Saint Charbel was just three years old. Saint Charbel's mother raised him in a spirit of piety. As a young child, he was drawn to the lives of the saints. He was also exposed to the hermit life early on, as he had two uncles who lived as hermits. One of Saint Charbel's duties during his youth was to care for his family's flock of sheep. He often brought the flock to a nearby grotto, and he created a shrine to the Blessed Virgin Mary there. Saint Charbel often spent his day in prayer there while tending his family's sheep. When he was 23, Saint Charbel left home and entered the monastery of Our Lady in Mayfouk. He spent his first year of monastic life here. Then, he moved to the Saint Maron Monastery in Anaya. He entered the Maronite order and took his religious name of Charbel after a second century martyr from Antioch. During his early years as a monk, Saint Charbel began studying philosophy and theology in preparation for priestly ordination. For a time, he studied under Saint Nimitullah Kassab. After Saint Charbel was ordained, he spent his days living ascetically as a hermit. He almost never left his hermitage, and he sought to imitate the ways of the saintly hermits who lived before him. Saint Charbel lived as a hermit for 23 years. When he was 70 years old, he had a stroke while celebrating Mass. He died on Christmas Eve, 1898. After Saint Charbel's death, Many miracles and extraordinary phenomena were associated with him. Dazzling lights were seen near his grave a few months after he died. It was then discovered that his body had been secreting sweat and blood. His body remained incorrupt, even when his coffin was reopened four times between his death and 1955. Finally, in 1976, his body was found to have decomposed. Many pilgrims have traveled to the Anaya Monastery to seek his intercession. And many have received spiritual graces and miraculous recoveries. News of miracles attributed to Saint Charbel's intercession has contributed to rekindling of faith in Lebanon and elsewhere. Among the many miraculous events attributed to Saint Charbel after his death, the most well known was of a paralyzed 55-year-old woman. When she woke from a dream in which she saw him, it was discovered that she was completely healed and had two wounds on her neck. He appeared to her the next night in a dream and told her that he did surgery on her so that others would return to the faith. While there is no official patronage for Saint Charbel, he can be a great saint to turn to for intercession for many causes. Since many people have found healing from physical ailments after asking for his prayers, you can pray to him for help in sickness or injury. You can pray to Saint Charbel if you're a resident of Lebanon, or for someone you know in Lebanon. Saint Charbel's intercession has brought about many miracles that have helped people rekindle their faith, so he can be a great saint to seek intercession from if you're hoping for a loved one to return to the faith. Thank you.